subscribe and hit the bell icon. The South African Cheetah. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. I'm bird watching. We have to be really quiet and invisible or we'll scare the birds away. Let's see what we can find. Over there, it's an owl and it's fast asleep. Hey, there's some movement in those leaves. I think it's some kind of cat, but I've never seen a cat with fur like that before. <laughs> How strange. This cat sounds just like a bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So, did you find out what kind of cat it is? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The animal you found is actually a South African cheetah. And it's a cub, which means it's still young. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. The cheetah is built for speed. It has a light, slender body and long, flexible legs. But even though the cheetah is a fast runner, it gets tired quickly after chasing prey. Chasing prey? They eat other animals? Cheetahs feed on small to medium-sized animals, such as hares, birds, and antelopes. But the one you found is still a cub, so it needs milk from its mother. A mother cheetah also protects her cubs from predators and teaches them how to hunt. By the way, South African cheetahs live in deserts and grasslands in South Africa. And the one you found comes from this place. Hmm, the cheetah cub needs to be with its mother to get milk and learn how to hunt. We should return it to its home in South Africa. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the Savannah, Junior Rangers. What are you doing up there, Ranger Rocky? Illegal hunters have been spotted nearby, so I'm on the lookout for them. Up here, I have a good view of the Savannah. Ah, I see you brought along a cheetah cub with you today. Make sure you watch over your little friend. Cheetahs are a vulnerable species. This means they are in danger of disappearing forever. Many cheetahs lose their homes to people who take their land to build and farm. Cheetahs are also hunted illegally for their fur. On top of that, cheetahs, especially cheetah cubs, are stolen from their homes to be sold as illegal pets. That's terrible! We'll make sure our cheetah cub stays safe. Ranger Rocky, we're trying to return the cheetah cub to its mother. Do you know where we should look? Find the cheetah cub's brothers and sisters and you'll find its mother. A mother cheetah normally has three to six cheetah cubs, which she hides in thick clumps of grass. You should look out for bushes or tall grass with the sound of chirping. Cheetah cubs make calls that sound like bird chirps. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. What? The Jeep stopped working. I think the engine is overheated. We'll have to walk. Cheetah Cub! Look at those animal traps, Leo. They must be the illegal hunters that Ranger Rocky was looking for. After them! It's no use. They're too fast. 
If only we could run as fast as the cheetah. We can't run as fast as a cheetah, but we certainly can fly as fast as one. That's a great idea. Come on, everyone. Let's get the cheetah cub back. I can't get the cheetah cub out of the net unless we slow down. Hero, I need your help. <laughs> Gotcha, Cheetah Cub. No more hunting for these guys. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Excellent work, Junior Rangers. You've saved the Cheetah Cub and helped me catch these illegal hunters. We did it! We found the Cheetah Cub's family. Great job, everyone! Hooray! Hooray! found a South African cheetah in our garden. We learned that cheetahs are the fastest animals on land and that young cheetah cubs need to be with their mother. So we went to the savanna and brought the cheetah cub back to its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Asian palm civet. Hero! It's dinner time! Hi, everybody! My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> oh, you're out of water. I'll get some more for you. <coughs> you're finished already? That was fast. Hey, where's this dog food leading to? It's an animal. So you're the one who ate Hero's food. What kind of animal are you anyway? I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still. Hi, Katie. Do you know what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an Asian palm civet. It's also called a toddy cat, but it's not really a cat. An Asian palm civet. So why did it steal Hero's food? Sometimes the Asian palm civet eats pet food that has been left out in the open. But the Asian palm civet usually eats small animals, insects, fruit, and flowers. But now it gets weird. The Asian palm civet also eats coffee beans. And when the civet poops out those coffee beans, some people take the beans and make coffee from them. Wait, what? People make coffee from the civet's poop after it eats coffee beans? And they drink it? Yes, this coffee is called Kopi Luwak. And it's one of the most expensive coffees in the world. Unfortunately, because Kopi Luwak is so popular, some people keep civets in small cages and only feed them coffee beans. Oh no, that's horrible! Absolutely, Leo. Asian palm civets prefer to live outside, in the tropical rainforests in Asia. We should take it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us! Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs! Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have an Asian palm civet with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to find a home for it. The Asian palm civet is a nocturnal animal. That means it rests in the day and is awake at night. 
The Asian palm civet likes to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So if you want to find a home for the civet, you should look for palm trees. But remember, Junior Rangers, some farmers see civets as pests, so stay away from plantations. Plantations? A plantation is a large area of land on which fruit, trees, and plants are grown to be sold. The civet might sneak into plantations and eat the fruits from the trees. And the farmers don't like that. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Oh no, come back, civet. It's going to another plantation. We better go after it. Leaving an Asian palm civet in a plantation is not a good idea. Ugh, this place smells. The smell comes from the durians. They must be ripe. So those fruits are durians? <gasps> that durian almost hit me. Good idea, Hero. My hat and your helmets can protect us, but I don't think we should stay here too long. Hero, can you sniff the civet out? The strong smell from the durians must be covering the civet scent. Hmm, we can use the heat vision on Hero's camera. We can view the image on my tablet. There, on the ground. That's not our civet, it's a wild boar. Poor ah! boar, I don't think it deserved that. There you are, you got us worried. Great, we found our Asian palm civet. Let's head back to the Jeep. We did it! We found a home for the Asian palm civet. Great work, everyone! We found an Asian palm civet in our garden. We learned that Asian palm civets like to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So we went to the rainforest to find a home for the civet near palm trees. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian Peacock. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy. Hero, leave that bird alone. Be nice, Hero. You're much bigger than that bird. Hey, look. The bird dropped a feather. Feathers are important because they help birds fly, keep them warm, and hide them from predators. You found another feather, Hero. It must be from another bird. Look, it has a different color. Let's see if we can find more feathers. What is it, Hero? You found another feather? Wow, is that a feather? It looks so different from the other feathers. It's so big and it's so colorful. What was that? Wow, it's a big and beautiful bird. I wonder what kind of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Wow, look at those feathers. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. So, the bird you found is... It's an Indian peacock also known as a blue peacock. Well, it definitely is blue, and it's called an Indian peacock because it comes from India? That's right. It's usually found in the rainforests of India and Sri Lanka. Peacocks eat seeds, fruits, insects, and even small animals like lizards and snakes. What else did you find out, Katie? Actually, a peacock is a male, like the one you found. And a female is called a peahen. The peacocks, or males, are more colorful and have bigger tail feathers. The peahens, or females, have more dull-looking colors. Both the male and female are called a peafowl. 
So it's an Indian peafowl. Correct. Not all peafowls are blue, though. Some are born with white feathers. And peafowls are one of the largest flying birds in the world. Such an interesting bird. I don't think it belongs in our garden. We should bring the peacock back to its friends. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a male Indian peafowl or a peacock. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're trying to bring it back to its friends. You're just in time, Leo. It's mating season. That means it's time for the peafowl to make baby peafowls. See the peacock showing off his tail feathers? He is trying to attract the peahens. The female peafowls. So, he's looking for a girlfriend. Where can we find a female or peahen? The peacock prefers to have multiple girlfriends or mates. So you should look for a group of peahens. All peafowls stay on the ground during the day. But they sleep in tall trees during the night. To protect themselves from other animals. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. With the jeep, we should get there in no time. What is it, Hero? Leo, it looks like some big cats are following us. They could be jungle cats, Katie. It says jungle cats are one of the peacock's predators. This means jungle cats hunt peacocks for food. Don't worry, Katie. We're safe in the jeep. Oh, no! It looks like we have a flat tire. Can we change it? There's no time. Those jungle cats are too close. Quick, let's start walking. <gasps> there are too many. scared the jungle cats away by making itself look big. Good work, Peacock. Ah. Oh. We did it. Oh. We found a group of peahens. We found an Indian peacock in our garden. We learned that peacocks are male peafowls. They have Big tail feathers to impress the females, which are called peahens. So we went to the rainforest and found a group of peahens for the peacock. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The reindeer. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I found, Hero. It's our frisbee. Do you want to play? Catch! Good job, Hero. One more time. Catch! Oh, hello. You can run really fast. Where do you come from? It looks like a deer. I wonder how it ended up in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. What did you find out? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a young reindeer. And because it's young, it's a reindeer calf. A reindeer? 
Aren't reindeer the animals that pull Santa Claus's sleigh? Yes, the very same. Reindeer are found in Northern Europe, North America, Greenland, and Asia. They live in the mountains, woodlands, or the tundra. The tundra? The tundra is a large and mostly flat land. It's a very cold place that is often covered in snow. Almost no trees grow in the tundra. To find food like grass and small plants, reindeer will travel long distances to colder regions during summer and travel to warmer regions during winter. This traveling is called migration. Reindeer can travel up to 5,000 kilometers a year. It helps that reindeer can run very fast. A baby reindeer can start running within 90 minutes of its birth. However, sick reindeer, older reindeer, and calves are often easy targets for predators like eagles, wolves, and lions. This is because they are not as fast as a healthy young adult reindeer. Mother reindeer usually travel closely with their young when they migrate. This reindeer calf must have been separated from its mother. We should take it back. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the Woodlands. I see you've made a new friend, a young reindeer. We think it might have been separated from its mother. You just missed its herd, Junior Rangers. A group of reindeer is called a herd, and its mother should be in that herd. It left the Woodlands this morning for the much cooler north. How can reindeer survive in the cold? Reindeer have fur with two coat layers. The undercoat is soft wool that stays close to their skin, while the outer coat is made up of long and hollow hairs that trap body heat. Reindeer have a strong sense of smell, too, which allows them to find food in the snow. How can reindeer walk and run on snow, Ranger Rocky? Reindeer have four toes on each foot called hooves. When a reindeer walks on snow, its hooves spread out wide to support its weight and help it walk steadily. The sharp edges of the hooves give reindeer a good grip on icy or rocky surfaces. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! That's strange. The hoof prints stop here. Where did the reindeer herd go? Oh, no! The reindeer has jumped into the water! Don't worry, Leo. Reindeer can swim very well. They often swim during migration. I see. So the reindeer herd swam to cross the river. Let's follow it. Hmm, the reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here, that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Ah. Oh no! What ah. can we ah. do? I know. Let's use this rope to pull the reindeer in. Here goes! Ah. Ah. Oh no! The water is moving too strong here. Close. You saved its life, hero. Look! That reindeer must be the calf's mother. The bond between a mother reindeer and her calf is so strong that they can recognize each other by smell. We did it! We found the reindeer's herd and mother. Good job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! found 
a young reindeer in our garden. We learned that reindeer can run very fast and that they migrate to colder regions during the summer. So we followed the reindeer's herd and brought the reindeer back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.